Welcome to Central Valley Wedding and Special Events. I'm Shara Roderick, and I'm here with two local videographers, David Velasquez of Sequoia Sky Films and Naaman Villanueva of Villanueva Productions. It's great to have you both here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank, you. Thank yeah. you for coming over. So you two have your own separate vi businesses where you do videography, but you also collaborate together. Correct. How did you two get started with a collaboration? I actually shot his wedding. And that really? was my very first one, and that's kind of how we got connected. Um, okay. Yeah. And you two didn't know each other before then? No, not really, no. How fun. And how long ago was that? Got married in November, last November. Yeah. Okay. 19. Very nice. So a new collaboration, but you two have been doing your own individual projects right. for a little while. David, could you tell me a bit about Sequoia Sky Films? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a new business here in the Valley. Um, you know, I've always had an interest in photography but in the last two years or so I've really developed another just passion for video I think when it comes to weddings I love doing photos but when it comes to video there's just something unique about it that I just didn't know I was gonna kind of really enjoy as much as I do um, so after shooting Naaman's you know he kind of asked me like hey would you like to maybe partner up because it's always so much better working with another person when you're doing video having two shooters is just uh, so much better and um, it's been a really good experience since then you know we've been shot a couple together so far and we're just looking to get better with each one and just excited to keep going well it is an exciting thing I think to find someone who has a quality level that is the same as yours that you right. can rely on them to help you create this amazing production right yeah because it, it is a lot of work and we both have very similar values very similar styles and interests and that kind of a thing um, so it's worked out really well so far. And Naaman, you have done the weddings, obviously, with David. A little mm -hmm. bit on your own as well? Yeah, yeah. The last uh, few years, uh, I've been to a couple weddings here and there. And, uh, definitely was taking it more serious around the time I met David. And I was like, this is perfect. Let's team up. But you're also doing some things to promote the community. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. I always had a passion for business growing up, and I want to do my own thing. And same as David, I found my passion for video, and I was like, I, I love this. And there's also there got to be a way to help the community as well. So um, my latest project was uh, helping uh, the county, uh, District 5, promote uh, some of our parks. And some of them have been updated, and I didn't even know until the project. And they, they just look great. And so it was an honor capturing the park and uh, the interview. Absolutely. And I think that's so important to bring that awareness to our community because growing up in this area, I think it's very easy to fall in that habit of, oh, mm -hmm. Fresno, there's mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. But really, there's so much out there. There's so much yeah. to do. So it's great yeah. that you're bringing that awareness. Yeah. And we actually have a video of yours as part of that project, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'd like to see that. As a youth, I spent many days out here at Lost Lake Park. We've got the San Joaquin River running by. We've got many birds making incredible noises. And one of my favorite things to listen to out here at Lost Lake Park are the poplar trees. And when the wind blows through them, the leaves make an amazing sound. In 1961, Fresno County opened up Lost Lake Park to the public. And in 2014, the county applied for a grant to renovate about 50 acres of the park. All around me you can see this uh, beautiful landscaped area that was made possible through a grant. And Fresno County continues to be dedicated to Lost Lake Park. These beautiful benches that you see right here in front of me in this fire pit were made possible because of donations from Boy Scouts of America. Behind me you have a covered picnic area. There's actually two covered picnic areas here. This one behind me happens to be the smaller of the two. There are 37 different campgrounds out here at Lost Lake Park. And uh, these campgrounds are monitored and maintained by staff that are here 24 hours a day. The County of Fresno has owned Lost Lake Park for over 60 years. But the history of this place goes back hundreds of years. Throughout this park, there are over 300 grinding stones that the Native Americans used for, for generations. And so if you want to come to a place where you can come and relax and explore, Lost Lake is the place for you. We're out here at Avocado Lake Park. It's one of my most favorite parks in Fresno County. It's about 200 acres, 
One of the reasons it's my most favorite is because there's no other park that Fresno County has that's as picturesque as this particular park. You can see the lake behind me and the rolling hills in the background. To me, I can sit here and stare at that all day long. Here at Avocado Lake Park, not only can you enjoy a lake, which is very calm and quiet, but you also can walk right to the river's edge, the Kings River, and watch the Kings River go by. This particular river flows, I believe, right around 2 million acre feet of water annually, which is huge. All this water is coming out of Pine Flat Lake, but it is beautiful, it's pristine, and there are a few parks anywhere in California where you can come and enjoy a flowing river and God's creation all around you. Avocado Lake Park is by far my most favorite park here in Fresno County. It is the most picturesque park where you have a lake where you can go out on a canoe and just gaze upon the foothills in the background. Also, you have citrus groves that line some of those foothills too. It's an amazing spectacle to view. We're out here at Winton Park, another jewel of Fresno County. And maybe you're someone who enjoys parks, but you like smaller parks. Avocado Lake, which we spent a little bit of time at, is over 200 acres. Of course, Lost Lake Park is over 300 acres, but Winton Park is about 24 acres. It's a very cozy park, uh, lots of canopy from trees, creating many shade areas. So if you wanna come out and barbecue and enjoy family, and you wanna enjoy some serenity, as well as the Kings River, Winton Park is the place for you. Our final destination today is Choinumne Park. Choinumne Park was named after the Choinumne Indians, and this is the last of four parks that we've had an opportunity to visit today, three of which were along the Kings River. So there are many other parks that Fresno County has to offer, many passive parks. You can bring your family out, you can enjoy the day here, or if you want to spend a couple of days, up to two weeks, you can do that here too. What makes Fresno County so special? I would say it's the people here. It's our schools, it's our businesses that we have here, it's our farmers, it's the culture. It very much is different. We're a family-friendly community. We're a community of over a million people, but yet you walk down the street and you run into people that you know day in and day out. So Fresno County is a special place. I would challenge you to rediscover Fresno County and the magic, the things that make this community so amazing. That was really amazing, Naaman. That's uh, an um, incredible mm -hmm. film. And I was commenting to you while we were watching it, I haven't even heard of some of these places. <laughs> so that's yeah. great that it's bringing attention to what we have so close to us. Yeah. Yeah. Now, David, I think with photography and videography, it's really important that a couple know what type of style mm -hmm. they would like. Um, what type of style do you say that you have for wedding videography? It kind of changes based off of really the, the couple themselves. You know, we try to really have a good conversation with um, the couples who want to meet with us and we just like to chat with them about what do you, what is your ideal wedding like? You know, mm -hmm. what is your style? What do you, like sometimes it may be, you know, we have family coming in from another country who's coming here. You know, we really want a lot of footage of, of the family, grandparents. Um, so we'll try to tailor it to that. Sometimes it may be something a little smaller, something a little more focused or intimate about maybe how they met, you know. So we include, you know, we'll include like a, um, what Neiman calls it, a love story. And it kind of really details about how they met, how, you know, how did you ask her, you know, the question and all that. And sometimes, you know, there's very cool stories behind it. Um, so the style really is just around their personalities, who they are as a couple. Um, and then we just kind of build it around that. That's wonderful. So it sounds like that client relationship is mm -hmm. very important for you to oh, be yeah. able to sit down and really hear what they are wanting. Right, yeah. That's something that's really important to us. You know, we don't want our films to look, you know, the same, like, okay, I've seen one, I've, I've seen them all. They're very right. unique, they're very different, and we really just try to um, have fun from there. You know, we like to just 
talk to them and find out, you know, who they are, like how they joke and mess around and that kind of stuff. Um, is there a dog that they're super attached to or whatever it may be? You know? <laughs> What's special to them right. as a couple? Exactly. What makes them unique? Now, we have an example of one of your videos mm -hmm. as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the couple we're about to see? Uh, yeah, Eileen and John, just super friendly people. I mean, gosh, they were so accommodating. Um, and Eileen was like the dream client because she really wanted a video. She was super excited about it. Um, she was even asking us questions like, you know, do you have a drone? Can you know, can, can, you, can, you, can you get some of those aerial footage shots because it's going to be a nice venue. Um, it was actually at a family friend's property. A very beautiful day. Um, so I was like, you, this is perfect. You know, like it was just fun to talk to her and, and, and pick up on the things that she wanted to include in her video. So that was shot um, early August. I okay. Believe. Yeah. So that was the most recent one that we've shot. Great. Let's see it. Marriage is one of the greatest gifts that God gives us, and it can be fun and exciting, and it can also be hard. Marriage can be challenging in the beginning when you're learning how to work with each other every day, but it's an amazing thing to have that person by your side through all the ups and downs. And it's really true what they say, that things only get better with time. It's always obvious to see how much you guys love each other, and I know that you will lean on each other in whatever life throws at you. I pray God blesses you both with many happy years, and that you'll grow together through Him. Cheers. I want to start by saying, Eileen, you look beautiful tonight. Can we hear it for Eileen? You're looking beautiful. There we go. John, you look weird without a hat. <laughs> I'll never forget the day when we called John. There was a couple guys of us. We wanted to go golfing. We needed one more guy. So he's like, yeah, I'll be right there. Eileen shows up. Not a bad thing. <laughs> from that day on, I knew that these two were inseparable, and I knew that this day would come. Hey, Lee. What an exciting day. Uh, can't wait to get out to the ceremony. What a journey it's been. Uh, six plus years of dating, all the high school, the college, the, uh, the happy times, the sad times. Uh, I'm just excited for today and the ceremony and the reception and everything that follows and our life together. This is a new time in our lives and we're just so excited to finally be taking that next step towards marriage. So, very excited. All the work, all the planning, um, everything, it's all, it's all coming around. It's, we had all our family and friends coming out, and uh, so excited for the day and for the rest of our lives together. You've been my best friend for so long. I just can't get your life without you, and to think I get to spend every day with you is just, it just blows my mind. So I can't wait to see you when I'm walking down that aisle, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Now at a wedding, when you get married before an altar, the sacrifice is happening. What you are sacrificing at the wedding altar today is yourself for the other person. So love one another as Jesus loves you. The obvious question then is, well, how did he do that? Jesus answers that question in the very next verse when he says, greater love has no one than this, that they lay down their life for their friends. There you have it. Your marriage, John, Eileen. If you want it to be a godlike marriage, cannot be without having, cannot be about a having and a getting. It has to be about a giving and a sacrificing. Even until death do you part. Eileen, from the moment I first saw you, I knew that you were the one with whom I wanted to share my life with. Your beauty, your heart, and your mind 
inspire me to be the best person I can be. I promise to love you, even when you root against my patriots. <laughs> Jonathan Edward Martino, I vow to be your wife, the person you come home to, the person who adores you. To comfort you in times of distress, encourage you to achieve all your goals. I vow to put God first, to always lean in His direction. I promise to love you without reservation. I vow to be your biggest fan. And to grow old by your side as your love and best friend. And finally, I vow to love you. John, I continue to fall in love with you more and more each day. You truly are my blessing, and I cannot wait to officially be your wife. I love you. And I don't need nobody else, because I got you. John, I give you this ring. A symbol for marriage. With my heart and soul. My mind and body. I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. I now pronounce you John Martino, Eileen Dorado, husband and wife. You and my kids. <laughs> Family and friends, I am pleased, proud, and privileged to present to you for the very first time. John and Eileen Martino. You have your moments, but for you two, for all I've seen, just God's richest blessings on you too, because you guys are going to do amazing things. beautiful memory for that couple to have from their wedding. You know, David, I think when it comes to couples sitting down and figuring out their budget of, you know, what do they have to have at the wedding? In my experience, at least, I was told by people, you don't need the videographer. Mm -hmm. that, that's not something you need. But that's something I fought for because I think you capture something in that that you can't get in any other way. Mm -hmm. What would you say to couples that are struggling with, should we get that videographer or not? Gosh. <laughs> I know, it's a big question. <laughs> um, it, it is. Um, I think really all I can say is what I love about, I mean, just watching it again, even though I've seen it a hundred times, um, 
the the kind of emotion you get out of that it's not my wedding but honestly like it makes me you know i have emotions when i see it Absolutely. Um, because i know they're going to enjoy it not only are they going to enjoy uh their video but their kids are going to enjoy their mm -hmm. video and their kids are going to enjoy their video and not only will they have great photos by their photographer but say their kids and their grandkids will be able to see that's how grandma and grandpa you know looked and talked and you can hear mm -hmm. their you can see them smile you can hear their laugh you can see the way they they dance together um and i would just say to a bride who's interested is just think about what that would mean to you mm -hmm. and um i mean we would love to talk to you you know one thing that we uh enjoy providing is that no matter which package they offer they are getting two videographers just so we can really make sure we capture your day we don't miss anything mm -hmm. and we can really give you that that experience of going back and looking at your day because most brides will tell you it's a whirlwind it goes by so right. fast and they can go back and revisit those things things that they might have even missed things that they just want to be able to see again and um it's hard to put a price on that, to be honest. Yeah, you know, I, be honest, I would but. agree, and that's a great way, great way to, dis, to describe it, yeah. because it's incredible. I don't know this couple, I've never met this couple, and I feel invested in their relationship <laughs> now after watching this. That'll be so. you next month. Yeah, it is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if people want to get in touch with mm -hmm. either of you to book your services, what's the best way? David, we'll start with you. Um, my Instagram is Sequoia Sky Films. There's a couple of underscores. I don't know if it's on the... There it is on the screen. Wonderful. Um, and uh, I have a website in the works coming soon. Um, YouTube channel just went up, but I would say Instagram is the best way. Uh, my email is also david at dmvelasquez.com. Uh, and yeah, again, love to uh, love to chat with you and you know see how we can help you. And Naaman, what about you? What's the best way to get in touch? So mine is an uh, easy name. My last name, Vinueva. Productions, so I have uh, Instagram, Vienueva dot Productions, so don't forget the dot. <laughs> and then uh, website, Vienueva Productions dot com, email, my first name, Naaman, at Vienueva Productions, uh, Facebook, and uh, see, yeah, so the trying to count them yeah. all. <laughs> Vienueva all Velasquez, way. we have easy last names, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easy. It works, <laughs> stick in the head. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you both for taking the time to come and show us the incredible work you both are doing. It thank sounds you. like you're having a, a good impact on the community. I like to see that. Yeah. It's great thank to you have again you for both. having us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.